Hey everyone, it's Ashley here from Westcott, and today I'm going to be showing you the difference between the rear and front curtain sink. For this shoot, we wanted to go for a monochromatic look, but add a little bit of a creative flair. When doing light trails, one of the most important things you want to think about is whether you're using rear or front curtain sink. So if you're not familiar with rear and front curtain sink, it's basically telling your strobe when you want it to fire. With front curtain sync, you're basically telling your strobe you want it to fire at the release of the first curtain. With the rear curtain sync, you're telling the strobe you want it to fire at the end of exposure when the second curtain is released. With front curtain sync, the major advantage is you get to see what your picture looks like before you take it. So the major disadvantage of front curtain sync is that the light trails are going to look a little bit unnatural. For this shoot, I actually kind of like that look since it's more of a fashion editorial look. But if you're shooting something like a moving car, when if it's moving forward, the tail lights will look like it's going in front of it. With rear curtain sync, the light trail is going to look a lot more natural. It's going to really give your subject a sense of direction and movement. As you look at these two photos, you can really get a sense of direction and movement. We brought in a 1x2 RGBW flex and dialed it into like an orange color. I wanted to go with an orange to kind of complement the teal color of the dress in the background and make it really pop off. Rather you use rear or front curtain sync, it really depends on what your subject is and what your motivations for the photos are. For this shoot, I really wanted a lot of creative freedom and I wanted to have the light shields in front and behind the subject. For this, I used the FJ400, which has a really cool function called delay. Um, this allows me to set exactly where in the sequence I want the strobe to fire. For this photo, I wanted the light shields both in front and behind the subject, so I chose right in the middle at half a second, but you can choose up to one hundredth of an interval. Some tips when doing a shoot like this is you want to make sure the room is as dark as possible. So make sure all your ambient light is turned off, including your strobe mounting lamp. If you leave it on, the light will show up and it'll make your subject look blurry and like a little out of focus. Don't forget other ways you can add motion into your shot. For the second half of the shoot, we actually took my camera off of the tripod and tried different ways like panning and zooming, just to kind of add like more dynamic motion into the photo. So which method was your guys' favorite? Was it rear curtain, front curtain, or delay? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all for watching.